this tutorial I'm going to show you how to create a hot firing in Affinity Photo and so let's get started create a new document by file new and use 2300 pixels by 2300 pixel okay Now I'm going to create a rectangle, like so. Now outline and the color is black. Now I'm going to lock this layer. And I create a ellipse, a circle like so and the color should be transparent and the outline is like 10 points and the color white um, I lock this layer too now I drag a an image of a flame to the document make it a little bit smaller like this change the opacity to 100% you can do this uh, change the opacity to 50% you can do, do this by pressing 5 on your keyboard 5 Okay, like this. Now I'm going to rasterize the layer, like this. Now I'm going to use uh, the Mesh Warp tool. And by clicking the left uh, mouse button two times, double click, you can add uh, more more points and now you can use this node and drag it all the way to match the, the circle okay like this and this node and like this So this will, this will do. Uh, I'm going to apply. Now use the, the move tool and duplicate the layer. You can do this by pressing command J on your keyboard on a Mac. Duplicate. Now I rotate this, this layer. like this and now with the affinity photo power duplicate function you can apply this this rotation to to all your next next copies press command j now you see it transforms around the the shape this uh, looks a little bit weird, but uh, we will change this now. And to do so, uh, I'm going to select all the fire flame layers and change the blend mode to add. Like so. And now change the opacity to 100%. You can do this by dragging this up to 100% or you can do this again by
pressing zero on your keyboard like this. Now I group these layers, group, and position like this. Make it a bit smaller. So now I duplicate uh, one of the shapes, one of the fire flame shapes, and drag it and transform it a little bit so that it looks like it's coming from the firing. Like this. Use the erase tool, eraser tool, by pressing E on your keyboard and erase the parts you don't don't need and don't want. So I duplicate this layer again and go into arrange and flip horizontal like this and drag it over here, make it a little bit smaller. So now it looks like it's everything is the same and uh, you can change this by using the warp tool again and oops. So I knew can you can change the the look and uh, the form of your of your parts. So ah, you 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 know what I mean. Uh, you can transform it to every shape you like and uh, you can spend a lot more time doing your firing than I and you can do it a lot better than, than me. To um, to make this the color more more flame, more fire, more hot, you can do this by adding an adjustment. Go to curves curves and add two more points and now I'm going to create um, an S shape like this and you can push the the colors and yeah, make it look more hot um, like this But you, you know what I mean. Actually, I want to add another another flame to the outside. Um, range, flip or vertical. Supply Use the eraser tool, erase the unwanted parts like this. So Yeah guys, that's it. That's your firing in Affinity Photo. If you enjoyed the tutorial, please give me a like and subscribe to my channel. And if you want to see more 
Infinity Photo and Infinity Designer tutorials, please go to infinitytutorials.de. There you can find a lot of information, inspiration, and tutorials. That's that's it, guys. See you next time and take care. Ciao.